We're now going to start the waistband. And how I'm going to do that is <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do, hopefully you can see this okay here, is I'm going to fold over the top edge. So this is the very top edge of the pants where your waistband would be um, about half an inch and I'm going to press. So as you can see, I've pressed again that whole top section about half an inch down. I'm now going to take and fold it down to make the casing for the top. Um, I'm going to give myself a little bit extra room here um, just so that uh, uh, you can easily get the, uh, I, there should have been uh, the elastic through or it can also be, if you, elastic is obviously modern, um, you could put a, a, a drawstring in it as well. I have put elastic in the kit and that is the point of the piece of elastic that is in the kit. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fold this down and you can see here, I've got it folded down about an inch and a half. There's really no, this can be more, this can be less. Um, uh, if you are concerned about having uh, comfort or fit or if per perhaps the person who's gonna wear this is gonna maybe fight in this, you might wanna have them put it on and just sort of judge um, from there exactly how far down this should be or if you should take it up some more. But again, the pattern is set for about an inch and a half. Fold down. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press the whole uh, length so that it stays down and uh, it stays neat. And then I'm going to pin it, which I'll show you in a moment here. Okay, so I've pinned the whole way around the top there, again, just to stabilize it. But I've done something that you might think, hmm, what's Melinda trying to do there? You'll notice that right here I have put uh, two, four pins in a very close, two of them right together and two of them right together. That's to remind me to actually start at one of these double and end here. You need to leave a little bit of a hole here, otherwise you'll have no way to insert the elastic. And you don't need to worry about, um, you know, this small bit of piece coming undone. When you go to sew it, you'll actually do a, rever a quick reverse stitch here, right in the end here and here to kind of lock it down. Um, if your machine doesn't have a reverse stitch, um, all you need to do is just sew, do a couple of extra straight stitches at each of these spots right here and there to, to again, to just hold it locked down so that as you are putting the elastic in, you don't accidentally pull out the waistband. The other thing you'll notice, you probably, you might've noticed that there were some strings just like there are here, like our little threads that come off the edge. Um, that's because this is a wool that I'm working with. Uh, and I actually just tucked them back in underneath. You don't need to worry about them. If they bother you, you can trim them off. But again, I just tucked them in so that they would be inside the casing the whole way around. <clears throat> so as you can see, I've gone ahead and sewn, and, and I should have said this earlier, but I sewed right on this inside edge. The whole idea here is that you're making a tube um, the whole way around the waist, which is where you're gonna run the elastic. Okay. To put the elastic in, it's very helpful to have a large safety pin. You can do it without something like this, but I highly recommend you go find a large safety pin somewhere. Um, and all you're gonna do is you'll see I have the large safety pin attached at the end of the elastic. Um, this is gonna end up being the thing that I use to, to sort of thread it through the pants. So I'm gonna go into, remember we left our little hole right there, and if you forgot, and so to close the whole way around, you're gonna to need to go ahead and, <clears throat> and cut that open because that's where your elastic goes. And all you're gonna do is thread the um, safety pin through and that gives you kind of something to grab as you're kind of moving it around. It will be a little stiff as you kind of work it around and you're gonna actually do this the entire way around the waistband. Okay, after you've gotten the elastic all the way through the casing, um, I recommend that you use the safety pin to pin together your two pieces of elastic because you're actually going to put the pants on or put the pants on the person whom they're for and make sure the waist is right. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, by pinning the two pieces of elastic together, I make sure that I don't actually lose um, the elastic casing in, or inside into the casing as I put them on. But then all I'm going to do is um, <clears throat> take the elastic and I'm just kind of pulling it until it feels like the waist is where I want it to be. 
and you want to make sure that it's comfortable and that you have enough room to pull it on the pants up and up and down and then for, at this point I'm just going to tie a knot so that it doesn't come undone as I take the pants off. So I've taken the pants off and I know that this is about where I want my elastic to sit. And you've got a couple of options at this point. You can just leave that knot tied in there, tie it a little tighter and um, leave it at that. Um, obviously it's not gonna really show, but the other option is <clears throat> to make it a little bit neater and a little bit more durable is I'm gonna actually sew <clears throat> the ends of the elastic together um, on my machine and then I'm gonna kind of pull it into the casing and sew the casing closed. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I've taken out my uh, safety pin and what I've done in this case is I've actually crossed over. Hopefully you can kind of see what I mean. So if you feel inside here because it's a sort of thick elastic, um, <clears throat> they actually form an X right inside the casing like that. I'm going to go to my sewing machine. I'm gonna actually pull this out just a little bit where that X is at. Um, <clears throat> and you can put a pin here if you're afraid you'll lose that on your way over to the sewing machine. Excuse me, I'm sorry, you can't see that. Um, but I'm gonna kind of pull it out here so that I can work with it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew right across this um, uh, cross point. So as you can see, I've sewn across that cross point right there. I'm now gonna trim off the excess um, elastic. I do wanna leave just a little bit because as you can see, um, that does it can fray. So just give it a little bit of extra room. <clears throat> and now I'm just gonna tuck that back up inside the casing here so that, and this is just sort of a thing that you do by feel, um, it sticks up inside. It goes, it, it will go up in there, I promise it will. Uh, goes up inside the uh, pants. And then I'm gonna actually sew my casing clothes right here with the elastic inside it. And that means that you won't ever, it won't ever come apart and you won't ever have it fraying or rubbing on your skin. Okay, I've gone ahead and sewn that closed so that my casing is now sewn uh, closed the entire way around the waistband.